Hi everyone, I'm Duncan from Auto Shine and Tintin and you join us on a really exciting day because we're on our way to collect the first UK delivered Lotus Amira. Join us now, we're gonna jump in the car, go and collect it from the gentleman's house. Uh, let's get on. Let's do this. Put it on the trailer the wrong way. <laughs> Amateur mistake, right? <laughs> Take care, see you later. Yeah. So you finally got the car back. Wow. Under these lights, how good does it look? So if you want to see a full spec of this vehicle, We've done it in a previous video. It's gonna be a detailed walk around, showing you all the bits and pieces and our opinions on the vehicle, things like that. So it's now on to designing and 3D scanning of the PPF patterns. Iron remover. Hopefully, it shouldn't have any. It's one of them things you can't see, but when, when the film's on, it'll look like the sand underneath. Yeah. Looks like there's nothing there, but the film's raised. Can't see any, which is a good sign. It means it's been looked after from the factory to here. Let's, uh, let's get her in. See you around there. So it's now on to designing and 3D scanning of the PPF patterns. Evacuate, please. Precision engineering is going on. Bosh. They're doing this just for example to show everyone what we do and the process behind it. You can see the red line, which obviously correlates to actually where it is on the panel. There. Well, Nathan, while well, you were watching TV on a Saturday, I was here already doing some of the patterns. So that's stuff pre-rolled, ready to go. So I've done the smaller panels already. And then now you're getting the bigger panels, more interesting ones. That was the part edited down, the blue one. It's rough, obviously, you can see there's edges and stuff, but that tab there will tidy it up. And then it gets flattened, so that's it there. Nice and flat. Yeah, all yeah. done. How can you even see there's a pattern on there? I'm just guessing. You have to catch the uh, the lines in the light, the light, because if you look straight at it, it's just a completely <laughs> white sheet. Take this off. Is it much faster people? Normally it's in like the most obvious places to get damaged. I mean it don't really do much but saves it a little bit. I'm gonna clean her off. It feels weird doing a wing without opening the bonnet. <laughs> Can't open the bonnet. <laughs> this will just blow away any bits or any dust that might still be on the panel. Be nice if I can get under there a bit better. This comes off somehow. I'd I'd like to get it off. I think I may have just found how to open that. There you go. That's what's under a mirror bonnet. Got the wings on, but they can be better. So the PPF is along that line there, yeah. But if the headlight was out, we could wrap into there. If we take the wheel out. We can undo the clips around the inner wheel arch and then we can simply take the headlight out and then that'll allow for a better PPF. We don't normally take stuff off vehicles to fit PPF because that's the idea with the computer cut. So all in the name of good PPF. 
And if we can do that, we will modify the patterns, take these off and fit new ones. People who want to see the suspension design, because I would, and I'm fa quite fascinated by it. Nice wishbones. Dual wishbones. So, that'll do us. All we want to do is drop it enough so we can wrap into there. I think this is the last thing we've got to do. This car has been here ages. My justification for that is the owner is out of the country so he doesn't need it. And it wasn't actually booked in. There was lots of cars already booked in for this so we've sort of done this in between. No computer patterns for these but it's cutting on glass with stainless steel blades so you're safe. Everyone's got windscreen cover, haven't they? But it's not the same, it's different when it's... Firstly, it's the headache of getting your windscreen replaced. But the other thing is, you get the, the obvious chips that you need to replace your screen for, and this will protect against that. But it's the 30, 40, or the tiny little chips, and your windscreen gets peppered. But you never get your windscreen replaced for that, because they aren't big enough. All PPF's on, it's just ceramic coating. Yeah. blown away by how this has come out. We've done extensive work on the patterns. We've made all our own patterns to get all this covered. The list is too long to talk about what we've done to this car, but it's come out, it's protected, and the owner can now drive it. Some people don't get PPF. I get, I understand that because it's not cheap, but what it is, is in say six months time, 12 months time when the owner's done some miles, there would be some stone chips on the vehicle. This way he can keep this up to 10 years. Well, it's more than that because it's got a 10 year warranty, but he can keep it for 10 years, drive it, and it's gonna look exactly how it does now. That is what PPF's all about. So, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoy the video. We've got some mega stuff coming up, including the reveal of the wrap on my SVR. It's gonna be the Autosport in a couple of weeks time. So please like, subscribe, let us know in the comments what you think of this car, and we'll see you on the next video. Off to Lotus Amira's house. so cool the level of gloss don't you think it's, it's really helped with the orange peel roll on summer see you later <laughs> <laughs>